Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Telos Caldera. This board features Telos's directional cam rocker, which means rocker in the nose, slightly set back camber. That camber section is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive of this board, while that rocker in the nose is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. This board's available in 148, 152, 156, 160, and 164. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a day that had overcast skies, high winds on the top of the mountain, fresh pow, chopped chunder, and perfect corduroy on the lower mountain. I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The flex on this board is mostly directional. Obviously, you got all that rocker in the nose, so that's going to flex more. Slightly stiffer through the midsection, then it gets a little softer in the tail, which helps you sink it. The torsional flex is very abundant. It's really easy to twist this board. And when it comes to stability, if you're in rutted out, more frozen terrain, that nose flexes a lot and drives all that power back underfoot. You're gonna feel it. If you're in fresh snow, it flexes, gets on top of it, and you don't have to worry about it. The midsection of this board is the most stable, and even then, when you do hit big ruts under the snow, you're gonna feel it. This is a board that's very lively, and all that energy just comes right up underfoot. This isn't the snappiest deck, and with that setback camber, you're really loading it off the back foot more so than the front foot. What you put in is what you're gonna get out. It is easy to engage that camber, but when you roll back on the tail, it doesn't overtly snap. It's not one of these boards where you're just like, woo, I'm in the air. You're more like, oh yeah, that, that happened, I did it. So like I said, not the snappiest, but just enough to help you porpoise in fresh snow or maybe boost off of a rock or a cliff if you absolutely wanted to. All right, so you obviously want to find some fresh snow to butter with this, and when you do, it's easy to press on that nose, it locks in, and then you're gonna be able to pop that 180 back out. If you do it on more firmer snow, it tends to hook and just spin you around, so be aware of that. With the tail, it's a little bit easier. You got a flex point right outside the rear foot, so you can just do high-speed wheelies and sit on that back binding and just be like, woo, just going down the run if you absolutely want to. Big swoopy turns are this board's strong suit. You wanna find wide open terrain and just swoop those carves from one side of the run back to the other. If you get into really firm snow and you're trying to drive this off the tail hard and aggressively, it kicks out. The tail's just a little too soft to stay gripped. So you notice when you're on edge, it kicks out. It is a little bit sluggish with its entry into turns just due to that width under the front foot because that's where you engage it from. So be aware of that. It really, comes alive at higher speeds, so that does get a little bit easier, but not by much. Who's this board for? The Pow Chasing Free Rider. This board does feel a little bit softer than last year's. I noticed that it was just easier to drive off the tail and sink it to get the nose to rise up, but when I got onto a groomer, if I was trying to carve, that tail would kick out. It just didn't have that power anymore. It just felt like, hey, we had to sacrifice tail power for when you're carving for better float to raise the front up with it. Board floats well. It's fun for that. If you get into fresh snow, you're going to be able to do some really wide swooping turns. But if you have to ride across a groomer, it's a little bit lackluster. Comparable boards, the Yes Hybrid, the Endeavor Archetype, the Jones Stormwolf. Binding recommendations, the K2 Edition, the Union Strata, the now IPO. This has been my review of the Telos Caldera. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.